All right, today we're going to do the exchange sort algorithm. We're going to use these nesting cups and we're going to sort them by size. We're going to store them in these containers here. Um, containers are numbered from 0 to 1, 2, 3, all the way up to 7. Containers represent the array. This is our goal of today when we do our sorting. Uh, we're sorting in non-decreasing order. And what that means is, uh, the, the, the mathematical definition of non-decreasing order in this, in this array would be that if we apply the uh, less than or equal to operator to each adjacent pair of nesting cups, then the operator will evaluate to true. So uh, between 0 and 1, you can see that, uh, that the yellow cup is the smaller, so, uh, so it would evaluate to true. Same here, all the way down through the array, we have every one of the items so that the uh, less than or equal to operator will evaluate to true. That is uh, non-decreasing order. So this is our goal today. Um, when we get done sorting, our items, our array should look like this with these uh, sorting cups in, in that order right there. In order. So I'm going to load up the array here with these cups and we'll get started. The way uh, exchange sort works is it makes multiple passes through the array and it compares two items at a time, uh, two adjacent items at a time to make sure that they're sorted uh, relative to each other. So you can think of as the exchange sort algorithm has a window into the array that just allows it to look at two items. And the reason, again, we're looking at just two items at a time is because we're using the, uh, we're comparing them with less than or equal to operator. So we'll take these first two items, we'll compare them, and uh, if they're out of order relative to each other, meaning if uh, less than or equal to evaluates to false on them, then we're going to exchange them. In this case, they, they are out of order, so we exchange drop them back in location. Now the window moves down one location all right, and compares the next two adjacent items and these two happen to be in order relative to each other. These two happen to be in order. All right, Now we're down to the uh, next pair but these are out of order so we're going to do an exchange. Go to the next two. Out of order. Exchange. Out of order. Exchange. Out of order exchange. Okay. Now we're down, down to the end where we don't have an X2 so we have made our first pass through. And what we've found is when we made this pass is we have the largest item now in the rightmost location in the array. We're not sorted yet. If you look at this array it's not in uh, non-decreasing order so we have to make another pass. All right. And as a matter of fact, um, when we make the next pass on pass number two, what we'll get is we'll get the next largest item. We'll end up down here in location six of the array, and it looks like it's this green cup here. We we'll, should end up down here in location six. So let's go ahead and take a look. All right. Compare. They're in order relative to each other. Compare. In order. Compare. Out of order. Okay. Exchange. Compare. Out of order. Exchange. Compare, out of order, exchange, and you can see the green cup is making its way down to the end. Compare, out of order, exchange. So we've made two passes. So what we're going to find out is, is that in order to guarantee that all these items are in the correct order, we're going to have to make uh, seven passes. Uh, that will get the, the pass number three, we'll get the next largest cup in location five, pass number four, we'll get it next largest cup in location four and so on. Finally we'll get down to pass number seven and it'll get the uh, second from the smallest cup in here but since all these other cups will be in the correct location including this one here in location one um, that means cup in location zero will be in its correct location. So at that point we'll be sorted. So here we go. Compare, not out of order. Compare, out of order, exchange. 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 So there's pass number three. So these three, one, two, three down here have all been put in the right location. So we go again, pass four. Compare, out of order, exchange. Compare, out of order, exchange. Compare, in order, no exchange. Compare, out of order, exchange. Okay, there's pass four. So half the array is sorted, guaranteed. It uh, could be the other half is already sorted also at this point, but, but uh, we don't know that. So we're going to make another pass through. Compare, in order, no exchange. Compare, in order, no exchange. Compare, out of order, exchange. Okay, there's pass number five. So that these five here are 
in their correct locations. And it looks like to me that uh, the, the items in 0, 1, and 2 are in the correct location. Um, exchange sort would not know that at this point. What it would need to do is make at least one more pass through to guarantee that. So let's do that. Compare, not out of order. Compare, not out of order. And at that point, we know that uh, this item's in the correct location. We could make one more pass through, and usually that's what exchange sort will go ahead and do. Or we could short circuit the sort at that point because we know on this last pass here, um, the pass that ended up putting this item here in location two, we did not make any exchanges. And if you make a pass and you don't make any exchanges, then you know your, your, entire, um, your entire array is sorted. So we'll make this final seventh pass, compare, not out of order. Now we know one's in its correct location along with all the other items from one, two, all the way down to set seven. Therefore, zero's got to be in its correct location. So there you have it. There's exchange sort.